What's up airsofters, welcome to the BB Warrior, where we help you have a better time both on and off the airsofting field, and today we're going to be discussing the VFC Avalon series of airsoft guns, which is distributed exclusively by Elite Force. Now, if you didn't know, the VFC Avalons are going to be coming out next year around SHOT Show, and they are going to be M4s that are ranging in the $330 to $370 price range, and I think that this is really important because VFC needs something to compete with Crytek, and that's exactly what the Avalons are going to be. The For a while now, Crytek has been the airsoft gun. They make a fantastic gun for a fantastic price, and at the moment, the only thing that VFC makes to compete with them is their 416. However, the 416 is $100 more than a CRB, and I personally think that Crytek's come with a better motor, a better gearbox, and a better bucking and hop-up. So I'm really excited to see what the Avalons bring to the table to compete with Crytek. So the Avalons are going to come in a bunch of different options, and here is all the names because I am not going to remember them personally. They are going to come in both black and tan. They will all have VFC's QRS stock, which I think is something that's become a standard for premium airsoft guns, is that it has to be easy to access the battery. So I think that that's what they're going for. Personally, I like their 416 stock a little bit more, but that's just my personal preference. These are going to come in a couple of different options. You're going to have a short barrel, a medium-sized barrel like a carbine, and then you're going to have your long kind of DMR-ish sized barrel, which I am pretty excited about because those are going to come with a different handguard for each one. Now the handguards are going to be either real spec key mod or real spec MLOC, which I am super excited about. I think that MLOC is such a nice system and it's nice to see such a premium airsoft company coming out with MLOC on their guns. I know PTS does it, but honestly in the AEG market there hasn't been much MLOC recently. And the fact that they're real spec is really nice because I hate airsoft spec key mod, I hate airsoft spec MLOC. I personally prefer MLOC to key mod, which is funny because I own a Crytac. But I'm super excited to see that they have both options available, and if I said it before, they have them in both black and tan. Internally, they are improving their piston, which is really needed because that's one of the biggest complaints about VFCs is that they have a bad piston. And something that I think that they need to nail down is they need a better hop-up bucking. The hop-up bucking in VFCs is garbage got to replace it immediately. I hated that on my 416. And that's something that Crytek really has them beat on, is that Crytek does make a significantly better hop-up than VFC. Something that I think that the VFC Avalons have going for them over Crytek is that they're distributed by Elite Force. Elite Force is a huge company, if you haven't noticed so far, and Elite Force is in a lot of stores, mine included. So I'm very excited to see this. I think that just because Elite Force offers so much, I mean, they offer pistols, they offer rifles, SMGs, I think you're going to see these Avalons in a lot of stores as opposition to Crytek, where Crytek really just carries Crytek stuff. So I'm very excited to see how widespread these Avalons go. But the real reason I'm excited about these isn't because I'm some Elite Force VFC fanboy and I hate Crytek's. That can't be farther from the truth. I've loved my Crytek, I've loved my VFCs. The thing that I am super excited about is, let's say, hypothetically, that the Avalons are better than Crytek. That means that the next year, Crytek's going to make a gun that is better than the Avalon's. And it's going to only go on and on and on, and they're going to keep trying to one-up each other. And all that'll do for me and you as a player is make a better airsoft gun that is more affordable. This has happened before in airsoft. When Wolverine Airsoft came out, Polar Star was kind of just sitting on the fusion engine. Like, yeah, this is pretty good. This is our fusion engine. And Wolverine was like, bam, here's like three different HPA engines. We have bolt actions. And that's when Wolverine started to come out with the F1, and I believe they're coming out with an F2 soon. And then you had people like Protec enter the market, and it, it's been proven that when one company beats the other, they're going to try to get back on top, and all they can do is improve the market for the player base. Things that could happen is Crytek could put their Prometheus branded barrels already in the gun. We've talked about that a few weeks ago. Here is the banner that you can click on to watch that video. And I think that all it's going to do is help improve the airsofting market. You never know what they're going to do. They can either lower the cost, or they could add more things to it. Like they could start coming with some key mod segments. They could start improving the gearboxes, which I mean... I I'm really excited to see how the Avalons not only make VFC airsoft guns, but how they make other brand airsoft guns. Because not only VFC and Crytek are going to try to get better. There's going to be other brands. You're going to have GMP, you're going to have the Revivalation of Classic Army. You're going to have all these companies that are really trying to get better get a lot better. Like, G&G &G has improved a lot in the last few years, except for some of their, like, their Wild Hog guns have been a little bit iffy. But, every brand is going to try to one-up each other and improve on their systems. 
And that's something that I think we're going to see a lot in 2017. Like, you have the G2 gearbox that is coming out from G&G. &G. You're going to have the Avalon. Crytac's probably going to up their game recently. They are with those barrels, but those aren't pre-installed. So I'm just super excited to see where the airsoft market is going to go in this next year and the years following. And honestly, I, I'm excited just because I want airsoft to keep growing. I think that by having better products coming out at a better price, it's going to help grow airsoft continually, and it'll only be better for me and you, the player base. And I want to know what you guys think about the VFC Avalons. Now, I know that they aren't out yet, but I'm really excited to see them. And if you've ever handled or seen a 416, expect something like that, but maybe even a little bit better. And I, I'm really excited about them. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. If this was your first time here on the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe for more airsofting content every Tuesday and Friday. Make sure to follow me on social media if you haven't. The links will be down in the description below. This has been the BB Warrior, and I'll see you guys next time.